All right, this was sent into the channel for a review. It looked interesting, and I said, yeah, go ahead and send one in. Uh, this is a uh, Top Tool ET623. It is a network cable tester, um, and it's got multimeter function in it as well. So, uh, can you can you read that? I guess it's not too bad. So uh, it it uh, can measure cable length. It can trace cables. It can make sure that your parts crimped on correctly. The the, the RJ connectors. Um, it tests uh, power over Ethernet. Um, and then it's got some DMM 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 type functions. Uh, pretty standard stuff. It doesn't go doesn't go low in voltage. Only goes down to a six volt range, but it's just for being in the field. And if, if you're testing stuff and you go, oh, where's my multimeter? Well, it's right in your hand, so you can just do quick little things. I wouldn't use it as a bench meter, but it's nice to have. Uh, it's got a built-in flashlight, I think. Yeah, uh, and one of the things. So let's take a look at it. Uh, it comes in a nice carrying case. Uh, so it com comes as, a, as, as two different units, okay? So we'll talk about this one first. Uh, it comes with a bunch of cables and accessories. And um, there's no flip-up uh, no flip stand for this thing. So it just kind of balance it on, balance it on something. I've already scratched up the display playing with it. Uh, but yeah, so it's got two Ethernet connectors uh, on the top. And then it's got the uh, multimeter stuff down here uh, for a common and then a one, one separate one for the 10 amp range. Let's turn it on here and custom display. All right, so it's turned on and it defaults to length, length mode. Okay, what does length mode mean? All right, so uh, here's, a, here's a random cable and um, I think you can see right there, there's a little flashy thing going on. Uh, yeah, and it says we're gonna be using this connector. There's two connectors. So it says we're gonna be using this connector. So let's plug one in over here. And um, there we go. So it's uh, 3.7 meters long. Um, and that's kind of an average. You can also, let's see, I don't want to hit the wrong buttons here. I think you hit this button. Yeah. So um, the way that the Ethernet cable works is there's uh, twisted pairs. So this is the one, two twisted pair. It's 37 meters long. Um, this is the three, four pair. Uh, looks like it's three and a half meters long. Here's the five, six twisted pair. It's measuring that directly da, 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 da. this one six, this thinks it's five here's another three and a half so I think this probably maybe some crosstalk in some of the channels no it's it's measuring it's measuring yeah it seems like it's getting confused what's it what's it think it's looking at Sometimes it thinks it's five. Sometimes it thinks it's three and a half. That one thinks it's five. I'd say three and a half is probably the right one. Let's try a different cable. Maybe that's not a great cable. This one looks like it's... Maybe it's a better cable. Oh, that one measured really fast. So I think uh, the, maybe the twisted pairs weren't very good in that other cable. Sometimes these cables aren't aren't the real deal. <laughs> this one seems to be the real deal. Um, yeah, 4.1, 4.1, 4 4.1. Yeah, so this 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 is probably a real Ethernet cable. So that that looks good. Uh, you can press this, and then you get the distance in feet. Uh, so that is nice. All right, we'll come back to test because it uh, relies on the other piece of the puzzle here. Uh, let's go here to scan. Uh, and that is also part of the, another piece of the puzzle using the other thing. 
Okay, so here is a quality control QC. That makes sure that the connector is crimped on correctly. You'll get these little uh, jumpers here. So the one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven, eight. Looks like it's crimped on good. If it doesn't make good contact, it'll tell you. All right, uh, the battery is kind of a strange, uh, kind of a strange test. Um, it relies on you using this this connector on this one here, and then you you measure voltage across these two. So I guess if you're in some, I don't know why you're not using the other part of the meter, but must be you guys who are these kind of technicians probably know all about this. Uh, so that's battery, uh, continuity uh, is CON. Uh, let's see here, what's that one do? All right, once again, it is a continuity check, but instead of using the uh, that part of the meter, using this part of the meter, so now uh, we're using this test cable and let's back up here. We're using this test cable and we're measuring continuity. And so it's saying that we have a, we have a short in our continuity. So we can probably uh, Let's see, let me go back to continuity. Sorry, you have to go the way around. Yeah, I guess it's just it just runs on this, just runs on this thing. Looks looks for looks for continuity. Okay. Uh, we have flash, which um, I don't have a way of showing it in here. If you have a um, a router, uh, a hub, you uh, put it on continuity and it's sending out a signal uh, on on the connector to flash the LED on on the on the router so you can check for continuity. Oh, that's what the flash flashes, I'm sorry. So you hook it up to your hub and then you can have it flash all of the flash the signals here. Okay. Um, ID is um, a way to troubleshoot lines, individual lines. It requires you to purchase a separate box and that box sends out an ID code and then this will say, oh, it's coming in on a suit and twisted pair and it'll tell you which one, but you have to buy that separately. And then power over ethernet, you plug it into something that has power over ethernet and it'll tell you voltages. All right, so let's go back to test. Okay, so the uh, the other tests we're going to be doing rely on you uh, uh, using this device. Uh, it has a built-in flashlight and it has a, um, a switch here on the side. So you hold it down to uh, a long press, and you'll get a you'll get a green light. Um, and then um, I have it set to the scan function. And so we are scanning. And then if I come near the wire, it's, it's giving me a beep saying that this is active, right? So, oop, so that's the way that one works. And it's scanning the different twisted pairs. So it will beep on the one that was activated if they're separate. They're all, they're all together now. So that's going to beep no matter what. So that's what the scan function does. And then there is a test function, which I'm a little confused about, but let's go to that one. Okay, so the test function, we take the cable that we've got and we plug it into this thing. All right. And um, and says hub and it says everybody's it says uh can you read that everybody's connected okay so if i disconnect it and then nobody's connected so it's a good cable test uh using that using that thing there all right and then let's see here then if you push this button here we've got ac volts uh we've got continuity we've got diode check capacitor check ohms uh, AC milliamps, DC milliamps, uh, non 
contact 120 volt sensor. Uh, so yeah, it's got a bunch of a bunch of things. Let's just test a couple of them out. All right, so we'll just test some quick things here. I have my calibrator set to one volt, two volts. It's a little slow, um, but it seems to be accurate enough. Let's go to 14 volts. Yeah, see, it just takes takes a while for it to auto range and stuff. So it's slow, but it gets the job done. All right, and. Um, Let's go ahead and test some resistors. Uh, let's see here. How do I get to? Let's see. That is uh, continuity. It is latched, but very slow. Uh, diode check, capacitor. Here's ohms. Let's measure some resistors here. Uh, there's a 1K resistor. So yeah, 1K, fine. Uh, 10k so slow but accurate okay so there you go i'm sure it measures other everything else like most multimeters of these days um so yeah there you go um it's an interesting device i'm sure if you want to do um, uh, some type of wired uh, ethernet uh, this is a nice tool to have um, and i thought it'd be fun to show on the channel because most people probably haven't ever seen one all right uh I know you want to see inside, so uh, the board is way more complicated than I thought it was going to be. So a lot of lot of stuff in here, and uh, some chips I don't recognize, and there's some chips that have the markings ground off of them. So yeah, your guess is as good as mine. All right, well that was my uh, my review of the ET six twenty three cable tester from Banggood. So yeah, link down below.